Today, we gonna do a protective style. I'm so excited about this because I love twists. I love flat twists. As y'all know, twist styles are my thing. So twists are my thing. Braids, not too much. Not too much. But twists, they my thing. So today, we're gonna do feet and twists. This is the first time I've done this. So bear with me, guys. As I learn, I watched a lot of videos to teach me how to do feet ins to teach me how to do twists. Um, I've even watched a couple of feed in braid tutorials to kind of teach me where I'm supposed to place my hands. So we are going to learn together today, guys. So if you came to watch this video and you love my personali personality, my attitude, just make sure you subscribe, click that red button and the bell so you can be notified of the next video that I do. If you like natural hair videos, make sure you like this video. Comment below any protective, summer protective style you're doing this summer. So the hair I'm going to use is the Feed Me Collection Kinky Twist Hair. It's in 1B. Um, it, I use this to do kinky twists before, so I've done kinky twists. Y'all want me to do a tutorial of doing protective style with kinky twists because that's like literally my favorite kind of protective style to do. Y'all want a review on that or a video, how-to video, just leave a comment below and I'll do that. So the two products I am going to use to help um, work my feet in braids um, are the Shine and Jam uh, Jam Conditioning Gel. It's extra hold. Um, it's good for, for natural hair and it has honey extract. Um, when I was looking at videos about feed-in braids and feed-in twists, a lot, a lot of braiders use this. They said if you wasn't using this to braid your hair or anything like that, um, you had to get this. So I did end up getting buying this yesterday. It does remind me of actual jam. That's how it looks on the inside. And it is pretty thick, as you can see very tacky but essentially this is gonna help me like smooth in my natural hair even though it is blown out it might have a little curl texture to it or puffiness to it because it might be trying to like since I don't get my hair blown out all the time it might be trying to like revert to being natural again or curly again so this is gonna help me smooth everything out smooth my hair out so it can blend in with the uh, kinky hair. And then for my edge control, I did get the Murray's Edge Wax Extra Hold. Um, this is actually the first time I got the extra hold kind. And um, I usually get the regular hold kind. Um, and the regular hold doesn't really hold my hair as good. So when I purchased this a couple of days ago, I did like try it out on my edges a little bit, took a little bit of it and put it on my hair and um it held it down pretty good it held it down pretty good so i'm hoping that that will do the same thing in combination with the shine and jam that this will help hold on my hair smooth my hair um any texture that i have too much texture that i have in my hair it'll kind of hold it down so it can give me the style i need all right guys so let's get started so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair a little bit because it does seem kind of dry. So start off with the water and I'm just basically gonna spray a little bit on my hand. Going with a little bit of coconut oil. Then going in with my shea butter, I mean shea moisture. Just a little bit. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with detangling that section that we already moisturized. Then we're going in and starting to 
section off our hair for our feed in braid. We're going to go ahead and add some jam to the section that we made. It kind of helps us create the part that we need. Then we'll go ahead and apply gel to both sides of our hair. Smooth those edges down and start twisting. So if you haven't seen my flat twist crown uh, tutorials, make sure you go look at that tutorial because it's very, very similar to how I am twisting my hair. The only difference in this is that I'm adding hair to, the, to it. So as I twist down, I'll go ahead and add a piece of hair into the twist and continue twisting down. All the way down until I get to the end of my twist. So let's continue with this next section. I'm parting it, I'm adding the jam, I'm making sure my part is straight with the jam. I'm smoothing my edges out and then I am going ahead and twisting my hair down just like I did my flat twist crown braid. Adding hair in now and continuing down the length of my hair until I get all the way to the end. I think I'm doing pretty good so far, y'all. I'm happy. So I'm going to cut off the camera now. I'm gonna do a couple more and then I will be back, okay? So I want to come back and show you how one half of my head looks. I think I'm doing a pretty good job, y'all. But this is how my hair is looking. I think this last one in the middle, I did pretty, pretty good on because it's, it's, it's tight on there and this one I did pretty good on it was longer piece. I'm pretty much almost done with this one pack um that I had it was like maybe three-fourths a pack I only have like two more strands left I think every time I've been um adding here I've been adding probably between four to six pieces of hair depending on how long the braid was. So like this one right here, I didn't add as much hair compared to this one more at the top because of course it's longer. Coming from right here at the front to the back is longer. So I added a couple more pieces of hair. Um, um, for my first piece of hair, as y'all might have seen, I did take one of the whole pieces and basically split it into a full, well, like a third of each piece and basically how I do it is grab it like this and pretty much I start with a piece about this big maybe even a little bigger for my first twist so I'm gonna continue finishing this side I'll come back when I have my last two twists all right guys so one thing that I did learn while doing these twists is that I need to make sure that I always have some kind of gel in my hand to help smooth out my natural hair. Now I did say I did blow it out, but my ends and some parts at the top of my hair did get puffy. So gel is very, very important in creating these styles. Another thing 
I learned is that you need to make sure you have all your hair, pieces of hair laid out already. It makes it go so much faster, so much easier. Basically, the only thing that took the longest was the parting of my hair. That it took the longest out of everything. Once I parted my hair, I had no time in helping flat twist it. Um, another thing I learned was that when I'm twisting towards the end, I need to make sure I twist extremely tight. Um, kind of do a rope method when I'm doing the twist and it'll just help hold my twist a little better. I'm going to go in and pin some of my twists down because they kind of, because they're twists, they're not going to hold as good enough. So pinning them down helps a lot. I'm going to go in and smooth out my edges with my edge control by Murray's. I'm going to go ahead and dip the ends of my hair to make sure they don't unravel. And then finally, I'm going to go in with my Lottie Body Foaming Mousse. Um, this just helps smooth down the frizz that might have been created when I did the twist. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. These are my feed-in twists that I did. I love them. Um, I'm hoping that they'll stay in for at least two weeks or so, but I love them. I'm excited. If you liked this video and you haven't subscribed, you watched the whole entire video of me doing my twist. So obviously you like me and you want to subscribe. So go ahead and subscribe. Click that red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of the next video I do. Like this video if you want more videos like this. And as I always say, guys, remember that you look blessed. Bye, guys.